Hey, it's 6.45, we're back, and lunar events have all kinds of crazy names. Blood moons, wolf moons, super moons, the rare combination of the super blood wolf moon eclipse. <gasps> Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because now there's another one. No, if you look uh, right up in the sky right about now, you might actually be able to catch the strawberry moon. I had no idea. I just thought it was a full moon. But Kaylin is going to show us why it's getting a different name depending on the time of year. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we do have a pretty cool full moon going on around Kentucky, and a, a few folks saw it last night. If you look up there right now, it's going to be pretty difficult to see, but you might be able to catch it one more time later on this evening. Now, it's called the Strawberry Moon for at least a, uh, one or two reasons. It does have a little bit of a pink glow to it, thanks to some atmospheric conditions across some parts of the country, but it's really called the Strawberry Moon because it is coinciding with the time that Native Americans would harvest wild strawberries, and that is is usually this time of year. Lots of strawberries uh, across the country right now. You'll find them in your farmer's markets. But again, that's why it's called the strawberry moon. It's not a super moon. It's not a blue blood wolf moon. It's just a little bit bigger than normal. And we are going to see it maybe for one more night here in Kentucky. And so if you do see it, send us your weather photos. Sherry Stalins did. She got a pretty good shot of this one from last night. Thanks to her for sending that in from Elizabethtown.